This tutorial is all about noises. Now, what does the sound of a grand piano have to do with noise? A grand piano is a complex and sophisticated mechanism. There's the resonating body itself with the resonance board, the keys which activate the hammers, which in turn hit the strings, the right pedal which lifts all the dampers, and the left pedal which shifts the entire mechanism. All of this makes noise, which is part of the piano sound. So now, let's have a look at the connection between the key that the pianist hits and the vibrating string, the so-called action. The action of a piano translates the pressing of a piano key into a felt hammer which strikes the string. When you press a key, its back end rises and pushes up on a complex little mechanism which propels the hammer against the string. After striking the string, the hammer rebounds to an intermediate resting position until you release the key. At that point, the hammer returns all the way to its resting position. At the same time, when hitting a key, the damper leaves the string. When releasing the key, the damper comes down to the string again. Now the energy created by a string that's vibrating very loudly can't be stopped immediately by a small felt damper. The note just sort of dies away. And this can take some time, especially in the low notes. We call this the release phase. And this we have sampled in many different velocities and different time offsets to create a dynamic and natural release noise. So let's switch it on. The samples are only loaded into RAM when the release samples are switched on. So here we go. As you hear, it takes a while to die out. Now I'm going to switch it off so you can hear what it sounds like without. See, it's very unnatural. So let's switch it back on again. Now because the longer, more powerful uh, bass notes vibrate with more energy, the damper needs quite a long time to stop the note, uh, in more, more time than is needed in the middle and upper range. In fact, on a 9'6 Bosendorfer, the string can vibrate with so much energy that the dampers actually bounce. Now in the higher mid-range, the sound dies more quickly, so you can hear more of the resonance from the other strings. And now I'm going to switch it off so you can hear it. Sounds totally dead. So now I want to play for you a real short passage from Beethoven so you can hear what it sounds like, first of all, without the release samples. Now I'm going to play it with the release samples and you should hear a big difference. So as you can hear, there's more character, there's more liveliness, and it sounds more like a real piano. Now I want to talk about what happens to the hammer when you press the key. Let's go back to our model here. Immediately after striking the string, the hammer drops back to an intermediate resting position. The noise of this rebound is part of the normal tone and part of the dry piano samples. When releasing the key, the hammer returns all the way to its resting position. So this is called the hammer noise, and it happens along with the release sample. Let's see what it sounds like in Galaxy Pianos. We'll turn it on, hammer noises, and turn it up all the way so you can hear what we're talking about. I press the key. When I release it, you will hear the hammer noise. Now, this is all part of the natural sound of a piano. The difference is with the Galaxy, you can turn it on and off and adjust it. Now, the next thing we want to look at are the pedals. A Concert Grand has three pedals. What do they do? The right pedal, also known as the damper or sustain pedal, lifts all the dampers at once. The middle pedal, which is known as the sostenuto pedal, lifts only the dampers of the keys which have already been pressed. And the left pedal, also known as the soft pedal or the una corda pedal, moves the entire action to the right. All three pedals of a grand piano make the whole body bounce and resonate depending on how hard they're pressed. So here's where we find pedal noises. So here it is, the pedal noise. The noise from each pedal sounds a little bit different. So Galaxy Pianos now has a new feature. You can now play the pedals dynamically if you have a continuous sustain pedal. So if you do have a continuous sustain pedal, turn on half pedal and you can see how pressing it hard or softly makes a big difference.
So let's talk about damper noises. When you press the right pedal, all the dampers leave the strings, and when you release the pedal, they go back down on the strings. Both of these result in a noise called damper noise. In Galaxy, you can turn this on and off, and it is fully adjustable. And this is how it sounds. And the damper noises are also dynamically playable with a continuous sustain pedal and half pedal switched on. Additionally, when you're pressing the right pedal and the dampers leave the strings, they pull on the strings a little bit, causing each string to vibrate in its own resonance frequency. Now, this is called string noises and is also adjustable here. Let's turn it on and turn it way up. And I'll play a little something from Ravel so you can hear it. We were talking earlier about release samples, that's the dying off of the notes. The same applies of course to the pedal because it's the same effect. All the dampers are up and when they go back down they take a little bit of time to kill the notes. So let's listen to it again here without release samples on. Completely dead when I release it. Now let's listen to it with the release samples on. This gives you a more realistic sound like a real grand piano. So I would re recommend always using the release samples. So let's talk now about sympathetic string resonance. This is when strings interact with each other to cause each other to vibrate. I'll show you how this works. We'll go to the anatomy section and turn on overtones to activate it. Now I'm going to press five keys silently. Now the dampers are up meaning the strings are free to vibrate, but they're not vibrating yet because there's nothing going on. But as soon as I play other strings, then they're free to vibrate and they continue vibrating. Now these are real samples, it's not filtered, it's not modeled, so you have a very realistic sound. The same applies to when you're using the pedal. When you press the pedal, all of the dampers are up so all the strings can interact with each other. Now I'm going to turn it down all the way. You go to the tone menu and the resonances. Now it's down all the way. So now the strings are not interacting with each other. Now I'm going to play the same thing. I'm going to turn it up all the way just so you can hear it. So now you have all of these strings causing the other strings to vibrate along with them. Sympathetic string resonance. So I would recommend turning it down to about 50% and going from there. So that's the end of our tutorial on noises. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play a piece for you uh, from Chopin. I'm going to turn all the noises on and see how they sound all together. Okay, that was it for this tutorial. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much and goodbye.